Hey guys, how's it going? Have we got enough gas? Hmm, possibly. So another day, another axe. And we're starting off with 24 layers, 1095, 15 and 20. And this is an axe for the Viking named Richard. I think that was Viking. Just a bit of a tap. Just snug them all together and then it'll be into the press. How's it looking? Yep, nice, nice. Clean that off, reflux it, reheat. And back just under these flattening dies. Just push all them layers together. Go back in the forge now for about four minutes. Just let it soak at that. There should just be enough gas to finish off this uh, session, this one forging pass. And this is the last bit. Just draw this out, cut it, and then I can get it restacked. Well, I cut this into four pieces, and then I thought I'll put two pieces of 1095 in the middle. You can just see them there. And that'll look kind of cool, you know, when it comes to forging this out because I'll have a nice 1095 edge just poking through the Damascus. So in hindsight, that was a big mistake. One of them outer layers just pinged off slightly here, so I had to MIG weld that back on. Give it a few taps again, looks good. Let's get it under the press and uh, squash that down and draw it out. See them two 1095 sections together in the middle there. And these are the drawing out dies. And what I want to do on this one is to push the billet sideways slightly because it, it's kind of oriented wrong. The height wants to be across the width. So I went under the press a few times here just pushing the billet sideways in order to shift the stack and it worked it worked okay so we're back under the press now with these big flattening out dies and I just push this billet into the actual shape I want now uh, let this that block cool down and I drill two holes in this top and bottom just exactly the width of that chisel and start pushing this chisel through the block it's always a worry doing Damascus because that's the edge of the pattern and it's, uh, it's always a bit of a worry that it's going to split open and guess what that's exactly what it just starts to do. It just starts to open up a little bit at the top here. So I beat it down, put it back in the forge for a few minutes, work on that section and close it up again. And I change the die to just a smaller die just to take the stress out of opening up that eye. But uh, it kind of goes wrong. And it opens up again and at this stage I just think it's just not gonna work it's, it's just gonna keep opening up and what's happening is that it them two 1095 layers are just cracking in half so what I ended up doing was splitting the whole billet in half straight down between them two layers of 1095 and I drew them out again and I did a restack and I didn't bother putting any more 1095 in so I cut them two in half for four layers and I also had a billet with 80 layers in so I kind of forged them down to match the size of that billet giving me then five layers so we're now at 480 layers here and what I did I, I did a, a full weld around where the handle is 
figuring that'll give it a lot more strength it's also better now because we've got 480 layers and not just one layer right down the center that's likely to crack well I managed to get that chisel through no problem and then I've got this bigger drift that I pushed through I've been putting coal dust on because it really stops the drift sticking and just opening up the Damascus shaping it around that drift and I did put um, a bigger drift again in than this I didn't bother filming that because it's just pretty much the same process opening out that eye and getting it to the shape that I have to go through and after I'd done that it was just a matter of flaring that end out where the tongue is spreading it out uh, thinning it down then put it into wood ash for the night muratic acid and then put it on the grinder and shape the head so here we are with a nice piece of ash straight grained ash just marking out the handle I think it's 23 inches long the handle making up a couple of patterns for the leather work I didn't bother filming putting the handle on because I've already done a video about how I fit uh, a half to an axe so I just got on with everything as you do I made these templates for the leather work and got on with that and there we are all done half fitted and shaped came out really nice I do love the pattern kind of turn the pattern um, along the edge as well and the head came out at exactly a pound and a half and it's just such a great weight and there's the haft protector or mist strike protector you say about four, 480 layers of Damascus the handle's been coated with true oil and I put a little ash bead just to hold that leather in place I'll just demonstrate here cutting up some branches off a pear tree I cut down last year nice control with that handle and it's just kind of really you know effortless you kind of got to not hit it too hard it just sticks into the block below right guys I'm just finishing editing the eBay Damascus video so leave us a comment on how you think that went <laughs> thanks to my patrons uh, thank you guys for watching uh, hope to see you soon bye for now <laughs>